now to the lingering questions over what exactly happened in and around the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya, the night four Americans were killed, including the U.S. ambassador. NBC's Eamon Mohedin is in Benghazi for us once again tonight. Eamon, good evening. Good evening, Lester. While the investigation into the killing of the Americans here in Benghazi intensifies, today there was a powerful message for greater unity in the region as protests continued against that American-made anti-Islam film. A prayer for peace from the heart of the Middle East. Pope Benedict holding Sunday Mass in Beirut in front of 300,000 worshippers. His message, reconciliation and tolerance. But there was little of either today as the demonstrations continued. Also in Lebanon today, hundreds took to the streets in an anti-American protest. In Pakistan, hundreds of protesters clashed with police after demonstrators broke through a barrier near the U.S. consulate in Karachi. In Turkey, protesters set fire to the American flag near the U.S. embassy. Demonstrations as well this weekend in Australia and in Europe. More than 100 people were arrested in Paris, while hundreds more gathered today in London. In Sudan and Tunisia, where the protests were among the most violent, non-essential U.S. embassy staff were evacuated, while in Yemen, 50 U.S. Marines were deployed to secure the embassy compound there. And in Libya, in Benghazi, where the U.S. ambassador and three other Americans were killed, Libyan officials continue to round up individuals who might have information on the attack. Today on NBC's Meet the Press, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations offered this explanation for the Benghazi attack. What happened in Benghazi was, in fact, initially a spontaneous uh, reaction to what had just transpired hours before in Cairo. But Libya's president had a different assessment, saying this was a pre-planned assault with foreign help, possibly from al-Qaeda. Some of them are Libyans. Others are from, came from outside. As the region braces for more protest and violence, it's unclear tonight whether Pope Benedict's message of peace will resonate. Lester, as the investigation here intensifies, more suspects are being rounded up by Libyan officials, and so too is the intelligence. The question now is whether the government or the U.S. is going to act to bring these perpetrators to justice. Lester. Eamon Mohideen in Libya tonight. Thank you.